In this animation, we'll be learning the radiation hybridization mapping or RHM. Now, radiation hybridization mapping is a genetic technique that was originally developed for constructing long range maps of mammalian chromosome. It is based on a statistical method to determine not only the distance between DNA markers but also their order on the chromosome. DNA markers are short, repetitive DNA sequence, most often located in non coding regions of the genome, that have proven extremely valuable for localizing human diseases genes in the genome. Now, in this process, we have a cell. Um, and inside this artificial hybridized cell, or it is also called hybridoma, we are having mixture of DNA. This three different DNA with this orange color is a mouse DNA, and we also have a human DNA colored in black in this case. Now, after we get this hybridoma, it usually, after the attack of UV radiation, which is UVC here, it randomly eliminates or fragmentizes some DNA of mouse as well as human being. After the fragmentization occurs, it starts the integration process. That means the human DNA starts to integrate somewhere in the mouse DNA. And some of the DNA are being lost. After that, we get a mouse cell line and we fuse that hybrid cell line with this mouse cell line. And once we get this fused cell line, we culture it onto a hat selective medium. Now in this hat selective medium, it will develop in further generations into certain number of cells. Now when we get the adequate number of cells, we'll take out the DNA out of the cell and we'll load them in agarase gel in different wells. Here we can see we'll add all this DNA in different wells. After adding them, we run the gel and we get a characteristic band. Now the frequency of linkage can be calculated by looking at these bands. And this frequency of linkage is there to identify the linkage pair of genes. Now what do we mean by linkage pair of genes? There are certain genes and the related nets of those genes that are always going together. For example, if we get phosphoglycerate kinase in a particular chromosome, say the X chromosome, it must can contain the G6PD in the same chromosome. That means this here the phosphoglycerate kinase and G6PD are present as a linkage pair. Similarly in this case as you can see the marked region with black and red circle we can see there are certain genes that are present in A, B or in A, B and C. That means certain genes are always tend to travel with each other and those genes are called as a linkage pair of genes. And we can get the idea of the linkage pair of genes. Now getting some linkage pair of genes as a marker, we can get the physical map of DNA pretty easily using this radiation hybridization mapping.